Hey everybody, it's Mike Wardinsky from naturemike.com and today I've got a quick tip video to talk about the brushes in Lightroom Classic. More specifically, I'm gonna be talking about the difference between flow and density. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on our local adjustments and choose brush. And you can see we have some brush options. We have our size, we can increase the size or decrease it. We have the feather, we can make it a hard edge or a feathered edge. For this example, I'm actually gonna take our feather all the way down and then I'm gonna take flow and density all the way up and then I'm just gonna do an extreme edit, maybe like taking the exposure all the way down so you can see what's happening here. So to start off, I'm just gonna shrink my brush here with the left bracket key, and I'm gonna draw a line down. And you can see the exposure is essentially making the image completely black. And that's because our density is at 100. Now watch what happens when I take the density down to 15 or 14. You can see when I draw here, it's much lighter and no matter how many times I go over this area, I can't get any darker and so I'll never get to this solid black. If we bring the density up a little bit, let's say maybe about 50 or so, you'll notice now we're a little bit darker. So I'm gonna take the density back up and now I'm gonna bring the flow down. I'm gonna bring the flow down to maybe about 10 or so and I'm gonna draw again. And you can see it's very subtle. And if I move next to this line and draw downwards and then back up, you can see it's starting to get darker and darker. Every pass, it gets darker. And if I go over this area enough, eventually it becomes black. So I'm gonna go ahead and delete this mask. Here we go, delete all mask. And I'm gonna hit K to add another brush. And I'm gonna bring the feather all the way up because I want whatever I'm blending to be as unnoticeable as possible. And so we've got our density at 61, our flow at 21. And now let's just take our exposure down just a little bit. And then you can see, I can just start to draw this in here and really kind of darken some of the shadows without really being too obvious of what's happening. And so that's the benefit of kind of tweaking this flow and density and, and using it to your advantage. Now let's see if I want to make a little bit of a shadow here. I can shrink this brush, kind of darken this area. And it's, this is essentially like dodging and burning um, in the dark room. I'm not using any mask here. I'm just freehanding with the brush, but since my settings are so minimal with the flow down and the density down, I can kind of do this without having much of effect on anything else. So maybe we want to darken this over here and maybe a little bit more over here. And the beauty of this is it is very subtle and very gradual. It does take longer, but remember, Patience and gradually layering is always going to look better than just cranking these to 100 and just gobbing on a bunch of effect. So obviously that looks terrible, so I'm gonna undo. And then lastly, I didn't mention auto mask. This basically tells Lightroom to look out for differences in contrast and it tries to understand what area you're trying to paint. For example, if I'm painting in this dark area here and I get into the sky a little bit, the software is gonna know that I didn't mean to go into the sky and it's gonna help protect that sky. So a lot of times I do leave this checked on unless I'm noticing some sort of negative effect while I have auto mask checked. That's it, I hope you enjoyed the video and don't forget to like and subscribe. And lastly, check out naturemike.com for some great infield workshops, how-to articles, and private post-processing lessons. See you in the next video.